Today, let's look at how to send an HTML email that even includes an HTML table using Google Sheets and Gmail. So here I am in my Google Sheets file that I usually use for all the demos. And we're actually looking at this 6.4.3, how to send an HTML email with a Google, with Google Sheets and Gmail. So you can follow along there. So what we have here is that we have the the inputs for an invoice. That's why this says send invoice. So right here is all the information we need to send an invoice to one of our customers. And you can do this from inside Google Sheets. You can create a script to send an HTML email with formatting and tables and whatever else you need with these scripts. So if I two finger click on this or right click, I can see when I run this, it's running send invoice email. So if I go to the scripts, I can see here is send invoice email. So click that button runs this script. So the first thing it does is these are just, this is a Google library and this is just used to confirm the person wants to do it. So they click the button by accident and doesn't start sending emails. There you go, that's what pops up. I'm just gonna say no this time. So after I say yes, it's going to run this script. It will pull all the data that I need from this sheet. It'll pull the date and the name and the numbers and everything. So that's what all these things are, are doing. It's pulling the file, the sheet name, the sheet itself, the email to send it to, the customer name, invoice date. It's then parsing the date and making the date look really nice. I have a subject variable. I need the last row because I need to then pull this section. So if there were more rows, I could pull whatever size this is to put into the email. And then calculate my number of rows. I have the data body, which is going to be, I'll use it down here as a variable. But what I'm doing through all these, and we can talk more about it, but this is basic JavaScript, and you can use this as a template, but I'm not gonna walk through every single detail. You have to understand some JavaScript. You can also use this as a template and then create your own from it. But this is not super complicated stuff. So if you do have questions, reach out to me, we can talk about it. It's, it's pretty straightforward JavaScript, simple stuff, especially if you know the basics of just setting variables and how objects and dates work. So a little complicated, but not too hard. So we finished setting all the variables. We have our data body HTML, which is an open empty string. And then down here, we create the body of the email. So we add rows for the data we need through here. Then we just, we have a loop here where we're going through each row of data to add it to the table. And eventually we have this thing, this message object. We're gonna use that, we're gonna send this email. This is the Google library to send the email. We're calling the send email function from that. And we're passing it that object. So the two is the emails to send to from up here. The subject is the subject from up there. The HTML body is, I just start it and then I add, so this is just a string that I'm saying I wanted to say. And I just add the part I already, I had created before. And then the name of the sender. So, and this code will be in GitHub. So there's a link here and there's the link in the course notes right here. And here it is in GitHub, so you can look at it there. So you can just copy this, paste it into your Google script and start using it. You do need to make sure, so in your app script file, and this is actually show manifest file. So you have to view show manifest file. You do have to make sure you have certain scopes here because you need permissions from the user to send the email. I had to add this one for this, but you may wanna add all these for your scripts to make sure that they run properly. So we'll go through this in another session of the course. So that is, that's the basics, so that's it. So the script will then run, it will send the email, and it looks like this. You have your tables that come out, and you can have this look like whatever you want. It's HTML, so same thing, you can customize a web page with different styles. It's not completely as flexible, but as you can see, it looks pretty nice, pretty standard here to send an invoice to someone. That's it.